<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. said it's Paul T's beer reviews but it's not it's rate my beer bringing you some rotten crap <laughs> now the reason we know this is because I brought these from Michelle I chased some different drinks for her to try it and I said last night I've got this lovely one you're gonna love this and she took one sip and said I was taking the pee it wasn't quite on paper cool. it did seem like it might be a possibility that I'd really enjoy this drink um, Triple agent. I'd had to have other drinks before it. I don't know if that affected how I viewed it. Um, I'm going to give it a good go today, but I just don't think that I was particularly impressed with it. 8.5% ABV triple agent from Brewdog. They do say that although they really look at the American market, blah, 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 blah they um, also look at the styles of Belgium, Germany, etc. And I think with this, yeah, they're kind of looking at doing one of those Belgian style drinks. Um, yeah, so here we have it, Triple Agent, 8.5. Yep, ABV, a liquid triathlon, as it says. So, yeah, we've got a good amber colour, um, good carbonation, <laughs> nice frothy head. Um, it's clear, it, there's not any sediment or anything in there. So she looks the part. I, I it honestly, does, um, I can't remember what it said on the on the read up, but when I looked at it online, I thought that's a classic for her. Yeah, it's a bit bitter. Um, so let's have a sniff of this. Yeah, I well, say, so unfortunately, I jumped the gun, and she tried it yesterday evening, and really wasn't taken in. No. Um, Oak Age Triple, eight point five percent. It's got a smoky kind of caramel smell, and I know that sounds contradictory, but you're getting that caramel hint and a kind of smoky background to it. It actually smells quite potent as well. Yeah, it is 8.5%. <laughs> oh, that's life for dogs for you. Yeah, yeah. it does smell potent, doesn't it? <laughs> it smells... Um, got your malts in it, your hops, but it smells, um, it smells like it's got a bit of go in it. Smoky smell as well to it. Yeah, you could say it. Up a okay, bit. it's mm. kind of smoky though, yeah. isn't it, sometimes? Go on, I'll let you dive in, as soon as you did on the... Oh, any small sips here. She's not sure. For me, it's, this is like that. Yeah, I know. This is like their kind of take on um, Castle Lane. Or, have I pronounced that correctly? Yep, Castle Lane on the perfect draw. Um, it's kind of their take on that, but they're just not hitting the right notes for me. You do have a little bit of caramelly, vanilla type taste at the beginning. There is a little bit of malt there, but what I'm predominantly getting is a really sharp bitterness oh, that just overtakes right. everything and lingers in my mouth and kind of neutralizes and takes out all those other flavors yeah this and you can a... tell that there's a lot of alcohol in there as well mm. it, 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 it's still lingering on my palate now that bitterness yeah i wouldn't recommend that no. do you see what i mean it's kind of their take on that style of drink it's not got right. um, if you if it's going up against castle lane or something as a farmhouse if the, the difference with castle lane is castle lane's got some depth to it it's full of flavours. Yeah, and, and the flavours blend well with each other the and hit. they complement each other, don't yeah, they? Yeah, you don't get the hit. Whereas on this, oh. I mean, this might be some people's thing, granted. Yeah, it's but a possibility. If you, if you like that real 
bitter aftertaste to your drinks. Maybe you will like this. It's for me. No. No, it's a no can do for me. Mm. Um, I'll try one more, but there's no point. That's what I said to you last night. I said, we tried I just it wasn't last enjoying night. it. And I had had a couple of drinks beforehand. So I thought, don't make that cloud of judgment. Try it again. Um, give it a fair take. But no, it's actually even worse. That's got to go. Straight off the bat. That's, um, that's got to go in Simo Sucks box. You <laughs> 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 better not watch this video. <coughs> I don't know where you're right in the cars here, aren't I? Uh, right, um, for me. And what kind of price would you be looking at for that can? They're about 10 quid for four. Oh. Two and a half quid each. Uh, no, I just, I just couldn't. I, I'm not even going to finish this particular drink off. Two for me. I'm being a little bit more generous with the three. Maybe some people will enjoy that kind of bitter aftertaste. That's but their prerogative. Me? Mm -mm. No That's way, Pedro. Definite. Rate my beer three and a no. <laughs> and it's two and a no for me. Um, I don't see what else we can say. It's pointless. Yeah, it's it, anymore. Yeah, because we're not going to drink anymore of it. I don't, I don't find it pleasant. It's rubbish. Um, it's it's handy when this happens because you can get more reviews done in a day. Yeah. Because sometimes you sit there drinking them, and it don't help. That's why we did try it again today after last night. Obviously, that was off the camera and everything. When we had one or two beers for seven hours, <laughs> I blame the Welshman. But there you go. <clears throat> yeah. We left um, the bar kind of um, plastered again. But mm -hmm. you know, it happens, doesn't it? All right. What can I say? Thanks for watching. Feel free like, subscribe, and comment. Bonjour. See you next time.